Hello again. This time I'm going to show how to get assembly metrics using Quast. You should be in the assembly that you created last time. I'm using the, the toy data, but I guess you could also use any other kind of data that you have currently. Um, and if you do an LS, you'll see this uh, familiar picture right here. Um, and then again, we're interested mostly in the context at FASTA. The rest of these, that does, they do take up space. So when you're all set, if you really think you're only going to need this and maybe some of the information from these, um, I would put them somewhere else and then get rid of this because um, you can, for instance, use do.sh to get information about the size of the directory. And this alone uh, together is, sorry, <laughs> this together uh, is 4.1 megabytes. And as you can imagine with a very large data set, this is going to be pretty big. So we would mostly just want this right here. Uh, the context one, you'll see this is actually much smaller than the rest of uh, the, re the rest of what you got from spades. So it just might be a good idea to save up on space by deleting what you don't need and hand on to the, uh, the context of fast day. Maybe you want to also rename it to something a little more meaningful than that. It's up to you. But right now we're going to try using quast. And that's quast like this, Q-U-A-S-T. And it is also a Python script. If we want, we can go ahead and just get usage information. So I'm going to use a dash H again. So there are some options in here, but generally what I will do is just give it the contigs um, and also the option of where to put it, so dash O. There are some other neat ones that you can mess around with, um, including if you have a reference. So let's say that you're doing some routine assembly of, I don't know, some bacterium that you know about already. You could also align your contigs back to a reference to get a better understanding of what's there, what's missing, what's different. So there are a lot of cool things you can do that I'm not going to cover with Quast right now. But I'm just going to show you some of the basics. So you can go ahead and just, let's see, let me get back down here. I'll clear the screen. You can go ahead and just use Quast like this and give it your contigs. So I can give it my contigs at fast day. Um, oh, and as an option before this, I need to give it an output. So I guess dash O, quast report. There we go. So this is just saying run quast, give it the option such that uh, you specify the output directory. And I'm going to call it quast underscore report. It should have, uh, be created in my working directory, which happens to be in this test assembly. And then I'm just going to give it the context at the very end. Extra space doesn't matter in this case, just as long as you have at least one space delimiting. Um, Anyway, I'm going to hit enter. It's going to be relatively fast. Oh, in fact, it's going to be really fast. So it ran through everything. Um, why don't we go ahead and take a look? So I just did an LS, and you can see that it has been created. And we can see the into it. And LS. All right, you get a bunch of things back. Some of these are actually just different file formats of the same thing. Uh, for instance, uh, these are just formats like, like tab separated and uh, tech, uh, text files. Uh, but we can also look at the text file uh, right here. So report.txt. Uh, why don't I just take a look at this. This is going to give you the briefest of summaries about your assembly. Uh, and these metrics are based on contigs with a size of 500 base pairs or greater, so it might not accurately reflect assembly that has a bunch of like small crappy contigs. But then who cares about them, right? And if we look right here, we can get the distribution of contigs based on their size. So uh, these would be cut off. So we have at least one contig that's uh, greater than zero base pairs. We have one that's greater than 1,000, et cetera. But then we get to this, and obviously our contig was only about 1,500 base pairs on. So there wouldn't be one right here. And it's actually fantastic because we only got one contig out of the assembly. You should never expect that with real assemblies. Um, let's see. And this is going to get you the total length of the assembly based on contigs. And then since we only had one contig, you're only going to get the length of that one contig. And finally, N50s. This is a fun metric. I won't explain it in here, but that's something that usually people will bring up a lot. Uh, and then we also have total length and largest contig. So these are just some useful metrics that you can take a look at. There is also a report.html. This is something that you could SCP or use FTP to grab from the server and put onto your laptop so that you can open it up in your web browser. And it gives you some pretty cool metrics. 
In addition, Icarus also gives you interesting metrics about the quality of the contigs individually, and it gives you even more information if you happen to have a reference. So I would check these two out if you want as an exercise. You could just go ahead and plop them onto your desktop or something and, and take a look at them. And they're just going to give you some fancy graphics, but a lot of it is just going to be describing what I just showed you right here. The report.txt will tell you the basic metrics. And that's really all there is to Quast. It's straightforward. It's a simple program, but it might be useful to tell you how good an assembly is. Uh, not all assemblies are created equal, and the same thing goes with N50, so it's not the only metric you should be using, but it's something to start with.